You've lost count of the nights you stumbled through, dragging the bones of loved ones that clattered and clanked at your heels. But if you ever paused to meet the gaze of a stranger, those afflicting sounds would stop. And in that quiet moment of peace, the reaper would catch up and steal your breath just for the pleasure of watching you drown. Until he offers your life force back in a tiny baggie, he'll place it just under your nose. It'll be like you've been born again. Free from his shadow, death would give you speed enough to outrun the cold touch that gropes at your ankles and roaring from your guts. Battle cries would silence the thunder of angst that beats down on your chest. You will shed no tears tonight. But come dawn when the sun glints off your crimson lip, you'll just wipe your nose and spit. Knowing that in an East Vancouver apartment, a friend is clawing at the drywall and threatening to mark their flesh with shame. And they would call you Alice for granting them the ability to cope as you hoist their ocean of burdens above your own with all but a clean and jerk. And having nothing but the afterglow of a damn good cry, they'll offer you a junkie's rapture as compensation to get you the rest of the way home. Where there's no one waiting, no one to ask you to stay, or for you to leave your skeletons at the door, and for fuck's sake, babe, crawl into a safe place where sleep comes easy, and you can hang your character flaws over the fire, so when you have to put them on again, they'll at least be warm and dry. But maybe that's what you're most afraid of, because you'd rather stay awake for five days straight, to roll in the dust and make snow angels on top of the graves of those you failed. One more hit, baby, and your heart's gonna riot. And when you collapse unconscious, you'll finally get that rest, only to wake up to grinning death sitting down heavy on your chest. Your first breath will shred your lungs like razor blades, and a doctor will tell you that for 120 seconds, you're legally dead. No. No! You need not condemn yourself to this. You can listen to the voice that lifts you above your burden say, don't be afraid. And you'll find the hand that belongs to the voice. And the boy who offers it will be so tender and alive, and you'll be so starved for blood and poetry that you'll take it and rise. He'll meet you on the battlefield and hold his own, pulling the axe from the corpse of your shame. He'll wipe the sweat from his brow and say, Baby, I'm your man. He will ask you to stay. And sleep will come easy when he vindicates you with a song, whispered into your ear as you drift off, singing. La, la, la.